Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully created this add to cart saving in this cart details in our JSON file we have seen it, right? So before going, going to this cart details, so we have already created this add product. Now let's complete this edit product and delete product uh, scenario also. Then afterwards we will go to the cart and we will do all those things. So for, do, for showing edit product and uh, delete product, instead of showing this one in the product list page, I will create a separate link here, something like admin and in this admin, so we will show the same product list and there we will show this edit and a delete cart. So let's go on to this one. So what I, what I am trying to do is, so here, let's go to the navigation. This is our navigation file and in this navigation, what I am trying to do is, so here I will create a new one that is nothing but an admin and in this admin, I will show the products directly. So slash products. Let's go to the admin.js file. And here we have this router, right? So I can have a router dot get slash. So this one is an from there it is coming from in the app.js. It will have a prefix thing as a slash products. So that is the reason I am not using any uh, slash products here. And here I can say that get admin products page. Now here let's copy this one and go into the product controller which is present in admin and here I will add export exports dot is equal to request and a response and here we will write the code. Now let's go on to this navigation sorry not navigation let's go on to this admin.js file let's import this one so we haven't imported yeah that's it so we have indicated that we have added the router and in this product controller so what I need to do, so just I want to show this, uh, this home page only this, whatever the home page code is there. I want to show the same home page code, but instead of that one, I want to show having view details and add to cart instead of that one. I want to show admin here instead of that one. I want to show something like edit and a delete. So let's try to rename this one so that we can have a easy, I'll try to use the same template. So I am renaming this one to product type and list. So let's go. Uh, paste this one and in the home.js if you go to the get home page and in this home page I can say that product hyphen list instead of home page the same scenario let's go into this product controller and here first what I need to do first I need to get fetch all products so here you will get all the products <coughs> okay so here you will get all the products and in this products, I will try to render product hyphen list. And here we can send the views data. So where we don't have any views data. So let's create constant views data is equal to um, what I can say here. I can create something like page title. First one is the page title. So here I can have admin products. And another one, what we need to have is products so let's try to take the simple products now if i go into this one refresh so here this is an home page and this is an admin page it should both look one and the same only but it should we should have a difference why because in the admin we should show edit cart and uh, sorry edit product and delete product whereas in the home page we should show view details and the add to cart itself so what i can do is for example let's say that here i will add a flag in such a way that admin is true Whereas in the home page, so that is nothing but home controller and here this is the product list, right? Here I can write admin as a false. So using this flag, we can try, we can do the differentiation between the admin product and the home page. So here I can write is equal to, so if admin is there, then I can write admin products list. So if it is not there means I can use simply this one only product list. So first step we have completed. Now we are able to have a differentiation if you go here. If I try to refresh this page and if I go into the home page okay fine admin. So we are able to see admin product list. So we are having a differentiation between the home page and also the admin page. In the same scenario here also we will try to change this one such that uh, edit product and also it should be delete car, delete product. So here I can go into this one. So this is our total code, right? So this is our total code and here I can write if admin, 
if it is there sorry if admin is there then here i can add like this and i can use the else like this and up to here i can use like this that's it so now i can copy this entire code if admin sorry if the admin is not there means this is the pro this is the pro this is the output we'll be showing and if it is an admin means so there is no need to for us to include the cart and here i will show edit okay and uh, what i can say here we'll be having we'll try to do those things also and another one we'll be having delete we'll set right change this uh, urls also it's not a problem so now else we these all things are completed let's go into this one and here if i try to refresh see here i'm able to see edit and delete whereas in the home page if i try to see i'm able to see this one as view details and add to cart so now we are able to have a clear differentiation in the template why i am trying to do this one is the same template we are able to use the same template but depending on the routing what is the routing car the controller which controller we are calling so we are able to show the different content in the same template so that is the reason i have used this one so same thing product list hyphen e dot js <clears throat> so this is how we can use the same template and we can behave the and we can make the template do behave in a different way so this so wh for what i have did here we already have a hat product here and we need want if you want to edit this product so we'll be having this edit product and this home cart add to cart and all those things we already did adding that cart details in the json file we'll come again to that one after completing this edit product and delete product so now if i go into this admin so we are able to see edit and delete now in the next session what we'll try to do is we will do this edit product also so in the next session also we'll use try we'll use the same add product this thing only but what we need to do here we need to pre populate the data and we need to change this button name to edit product and here we can show that edit product details like that the same template we can use it but we can make it to behave in a different way according to the controller which controller we are calling so we will call this add product so this same template will behave when we are calling when we are adding a product means this form will add a product or when we are trying to edit the product means it will pre populate all the details in this form and it will behave as an edit product so this is what we'll try to do it so that means we are also trying to use the same template just like how we have did for using this uh, what i can say for for using for for using this for using this home page so home page product list page how we have used it in the same scenario we will using hope you understood about this one so if you want to check this one you we uh, have also posted the code in the github so if you go into the github github.com/leelanarsimha if you go here into the github so you will be able to see project node express app here the entire project is there in this one so if you want you can take this project you can uh, you can take it and you can check it everything hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you